Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Stay Too Quiet. I'm just here to talk about uh, PWE and the future of it. Um, basically, I just want to announce that Season 4 will be the last season of uh, PWE. Um, and you guys are going to love Season 4. Um, already, it has been nothing but phenomenal. We introduced Ignite and Grit. Um, we have introduced a lot of different things within the uh, company. Um, new stars, um, things of that nature, and they're all going to come into Season 4 very soon. We did have plans to bring in some superstars um, that you may know from the 2K community, um, but we are going to try and bring those guys in for WWE 2K24. Um, we do, I, I, at the time of this recording, which is December 6th, the day before my birthday, tomorrow's my birthday, wish me a happy early birthday in the comments if you don't mind. We are progressively doing that. If you want to go ahead and see what some of the PWE guys are doing and you're not familiar with uh, UKW, that is owned by my friend uh, Cast. He does a great job there. And I'm currently Shane Roach. If you guys don't know, Shane Roach is me. Uh, my real name is Shane Roach, so that's the reason why he won the tag team title, the television title, and the opportunity briefcase. <laughs> but if you want to go ahead and check out what some of the UKW guys, uh, the PWE guys are doing, such as Tyler Drake, such as Black Iron, such as Gabriel Genocide, such as your boy Shane Roach, and such as Zay Jordan, there's probably a lot more that I'm probably missing. You can go ahead and check out UKW. I will link their channel down below in the description. Cass, Palente, and Dakota do uh, co-commentary, and it is a really good show. And plus, it's probably a better show than mine, besides the arena. Sorry, Cass. I had to say it. I'm the best at making arenas, and you know it. No. <laughs> but uh, uh, the show is very great. Uh, he edits the videos. Me, I just go ahead and record it in OBS, and I'm like do commentary and that's it that's that's my job i'm not really a good editor uh unless it's on cap cut but like you got to think about it we record about an hour's worth of episodes each time so it's hard for us to go ahead and implement that into cap cut on my phone and then try to save that video on my phone and then try to upload it on top of that on my phone so we just go ahead and record on uh, OBS, and that's all we do. Um, hopefully, uh, 2K24 brings back promos in universe mode. That is something that I really hope happens. Uh, we will just have to wait and see. Um, basically, UKW is uh, United Kingdom Wrestling. Uh, they uh, host shows in the UKW Arena, and it is in London, England. It's a WWE 2K20 three universe mode and it is absolutely stellar from top to bottom uh right now i'm the world champion in there tyler wolf is the international champion there um let's see the tag team champions are alex perez and joshua garcia uh the pride championship is owned by uh tobayashi i don't know his first name off the top of my head but um, you guys should definitely go check that out. You should definitely go check out UKW if you are looking to see what the PWE guys are up to. Um, but um, yeah, uh, they're having a show December 15th called uh, Pinnacle. It's going to be one of the biggest shows that they have ever done. Um, it's going to be live from Denver. Um, you guys should definitely go check that out. Uh, I want to talk about the future of the channel. Um, basically... Um, I'm thinking about doing uh, reactions to WWE and AEW moments. So if you want to see that, let me know down below in the comment section. That's what the comment section is for, for me to hear your guys' input. Um, but yeah, basically we're going to try to make this channel basically WWE and AEW uh, stuff. I want to start making content in 2023 want to start um, trying to find more wrestling fans you know what I mean and um, I believe we're gonna be able to do that so I'm very excited about that um, once again go check out Cass's channel if you if you 
don't know who Cass is, uh, United Kingdom Wrestling. He also has a channel called Cass Talks Titans that will be linked below. Uh, not, it won't be linked below, but it will be linked within his channels. If you go to one of the UKW videos and you go to the description, that's his main channel. If you're into the Tennessee Titans, if you're into the NFL, go check him out. Um, I want to talk about it's a day before the uh, EP and my birthday, um, which is called uh, Two. The reason why I called it Two is one, my name is Stay Too Quiet, and two, um, <laughs> two, uh, every song has the uh, number two in it. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that. Um, I don't know how well it's going to do. Maybe it'll do well. Who knows? Um, but late, lately, here's a life update. I've just been going to the gym and trying to better my body. Um, 2022, I was bettering myself at the start of the year, and then it went on a huge decline. If you watch my video on uh, how my life almost came to an end, you know, the relationship happened and all that. And I'm still kind of a little bit stuck on that. It's kind of hard for me to trust people with uh, privacy and things of that nature. And it's caused me to lose friends like Valente. You've seen me on here trying to get Valente back. You know what I mean? And it hasn't worked out. But we talk here and there. And we, uh, I wouldn't say we are friends. But I would say we are mutual in our situation that occurred. Um, but um, I'm very cool with Cass. Me and Cass talk on Discord almost every day or every other day. Uh, we talk about uh, basically his company and how it can be better. Well, it's it's better already, but we talk about storylines and things of that nature and um, how we want uh, certain people to be booked. Mind you, I am not an executive producer of any sort on um, at UKW. I just go ahead and put my input for Cass because... Um, my UKW, not UKW, PWE booking, um, uh, is, uh, I'd say it's, I, I'd say it's average, you know, I put on good matches, um, but honestly, um, uh, Cass, uh, really tells a story with his matches and, um, it's, a uh, it's a beautiful thing to see, honestly, um. Uh, Every time I watch UKW, I am so hooked on what is happening. Um, but basically, um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of things to um, unpack um, in the next year, 2024, basically March. Um, I will let you guys know that the final episode of PWE or should I say the final pay-per-view of PWE will be on February 3rd. February 3rd. We And if you guys don't know, I have pre-recorded um, everything. Um, I pre-recorded uh, majority of season two, all of season three, and all of season four. So basically... Um, Everything is pre-recorded. Everything is in the books. So we are just now um, waiting for 2K24 to come out. And it's a long wait. You know, it's December and uh, have to wait about four months for it. But that's okay because I still play it every single day and I still love playing it. And, um, yeah, um, some of the guys that we were going to introduce into the game – um, were Powerhouse Hobbs, Samoa Joe, um, Aaron Matthews, Phoenix Nitro, Brandon Collins, Vibe. Um, we were going to introduce a, a lot of new guys, and unfortunately, we just didn't have the time, and we thought if we added them at the end of the season, then it really wouldn't make much sense. But I will say... We are going to try and keep every single champion in 2K23 and put it into 2K24. Hopefully, we will have every single champion 
uh, from C Community Creations, and hopefully we have every single wrestler that we had on the show in Community Creations. Um, hopefully the guys that I found on Community Creations are still within the um, still within the game. Guys like Drake Brandon, guys like Zay Jordan. Um, but yeah, I'm not really nece necessarily worried about the AEW guys. Um, you know, um, and especially, uh, <laughs> you guys saw how I pushed Will Ospreay. I mean, I gave him two title shots, which really wasn't supposed to happen, but it happened. He got two title shots against Gabriel Genocide for the PWE World Heavyweight Championship. And if you did not watch at Final Resurrection, Chris Danger took the title from Gabriel Genocide. And that was long-term storytelling. Because if you remember at Misery, which was, I believe, the season one finale pay-per-view, Gabriel Genocide defeated Chris Danger in a steel cage for the International Championship. And that is how he won the title. So, he won the international title, and a little known fact, if you did not know this, every single PWE international champion has won the PWE World Heavyweight Championship. Chris Danger, Black Iron, Gabriel Genocide, and Tyler Drake. Those are the only four men to hold the title, and they have all won the PWE international championship. Now... <laughs> Tyler Drake is the current international champion. He has been the international champion since PWE Brutality um, back at the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. <laughs> there it is. Took me a minute. Took a little brain fart, but it's all right. Um, let me just move this mic real quick. Um, basically... What we were trying to do for WWE 2K24, uh, we are trying to add more match types. Uh, there is a specific match in mind that involves four specific men that I really want to do. And um, I don't know if you guys would be interested in a women's division, but if you guys are for WWE 2K24, let me know down below in the comments, and I will try to implement that into the... Um, channel i'll try to implement that into the uh show and we will see how it works um i know Cass tried a woman's division and it didn't really work out for him but maybe it'll work out for uh pwe you know there's a lot of great aw new japan talent uh ladies like um dr Britt baker um chris statliner uh mercedes monet um mickey james Mickey James, I mean, we could add her in there. Um, I wish we could add Jade Cargill in there, but unfortunately, not really unfortunately, because it's a big milestone for her. She signed with uh, WWE, and I don't really like to use WWE wrestlers on my um, channel, on my uh, show. Uh, I just think that um, in order to keep it like this is our own company, we try to keep AEW guys in there because... AEW guys can wrestle on indie shows and things of that nature and New Japan. So it makes sense for PWE to have AEW wrestlers come and wrestle for PWE. Um, basically, um, also, I, I don't really tell you guys about this because I don't make videos that much. I am training to become a pro wrestler. I think my debut is going to be very, very soon. Um, it has taken a lot of practice, and I missed a lot of sessions uh, due to family things. Um, but um, basically, um, hopefully, uh, 2024, I don't miss a session, uh, a training session, and uh, eventually I will get to debut. Um, if you want to know where I will be debuting, um, it is at Paris, Tennessee, in non-stop wrestling alliance which is a fabulous fabulous uh independent pro professional wrestling company um the guy that owns it jamie great guy okay great guy 
Uh, he trained. Uh, he trained Chuck Taylor. I don't think he trained, but he was a part of the training of Chuck Taylor, Ricochet, and somebody else. I forgot who it was, but he d- also got them their pro professional wrestling licenses, which is very, very huge. Uh, because in the state of Kentucky, you cannot, which I live in Kentucky, in case you guys didn't know that, uh, in the state of Kentucky, you cannot wrestle uh, without a license. Um, you can't even put on a show without a license. Um, you can't even be a referee without a license. So, um, basically, I'm just paying my dues at Nonstop Wrestling Alliance, and hopefully uh, soon, you know, I don't want to rush uh, the process of developing myself hopefully I become a great professional wrestler um there is a title uh that I have in mind um but I want to focus on getting singles victories against some of the best wrestlers in that promotion um there's a lot of guys uh that I really want to wrestle there's a lot of dream matches for me um there's a lot of um worry uh, fear, um, but I do know this, it'll all go away once I built the confidence, the strength, and the overall development of what becoming a professional wrestler is, um, so aside from that, PWE is at its final season in season four. Uh, it is a jam-packed season, um, full of surprises. Um, a big surprise is coming soon. A big surprise is coming soon. Um, if you've been an OG fan since season one, uh, I appreciate your support, for real. And we've gone this far with it. Um... I think uh, we are going to keep Ignite and Grit uh, for a WWE 2K24. I don't think we're going to change the logos at all. Who knows? We might um, change the logos. But right now, in December, I don't think I'm going to change them. Um, I just want to say thank you. Um, for your guys' loving support. Um, It has been an absolute hell of a ride that we have been on. And even though some of the videos don't get uh, as much views, uh, one time we had no views. Next day we had 96 views. Um, It just just means a lot. Um, So... With that being said, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, If you guys enjoy this and you guys want to see WWE, AEW reactions, please let me know down below in the comments. That's what the comments are for. I want to hear your guys' opinion on what I should do with this channel. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm going to have an amazing day tomorrow because it's going to be my birthday, and I am so excited about that. Um, I love each and every single one of you, and um, yeah, that's the end of the video. Peace out, guys.